What's up guys, it is the Radman, and welcome to this random computer video, and I have no idea what it's going to be about, because it is a pre-recorded message, so I hope you guys enjoy no matter what kind of video it is. What's up guys, and welcome to my unboxing and overview of this Zalman LQ320. This is a very, very exciting unboxing for me, because... This is my second water cooling all-in-one unit that I've used, and the first one that is actually going to my own system in place of my Hyper 212 Evo, which does the job, but doesn't perform very well. The only reason I actually have this is because I got it at such a great deal, at 40 bucks compared to like 110 normally, but that's different. So... The LQ320 is their top, is Zalman's top tier 120mm um, liquid cooling unit because it has a 57, I believe, millimeter thick um, radiator which allows it to get extremely good temperatures for only using a single 120mm fan mount on one side, obviously. Plus, it has a really cool blue LED fan, I mean, um, pump. So on the other side, you could see there there would be LEDs in it, which would make it look really cool, and it matches my system very well. They also have two other models, this LQ310 and 315. Only the 315 and 320 have the LED, and then the difference between them is the um, radiator size, obviously. So let's get going. It has pure copper microfins, and if you don't know, copper is basically the best conductor of heat, especially within a water cooling system. It has very flexible rubber tubing, which you'll see much better than something like the old Corsair um, tubing, which is that plastic stuff that didn't work very well, but this is nice rubber, flexible. And then blue LED water block. Let's see. On the top, that's all that there is. On this side, you can see that it gives all sorts of measurements and stuff. Okay, this is a 48 millimeter thick model, I believe. Um, you know give me one moment because. Oh yes, so it actually is 40 mil 48 millimeters. I got really confused here and here. Not not 57, 48 because I thought that was like the smaller model, but then I got really confused. But it just um, shows you how thick it is right here. It's a 120mm fan. You can see nice copper water block. And then it has very nice durable long lasting tubing. And it has a PWM fan. It's not the best fan ever. But you could easily buy a couple extra like static pressure optimized fans. But it's up to you. So. And there's another cat in my room. I didn't know all the cats were in here because it's closed and it's really annoying. Okay, it's compatible with Intel Socket 2011, 1366, 1156, and 1155. Not 775 because that's an old socket. And then for AMD, AMD 3 Plus, AMD 3, 2 Plus, 2, and APUs, which is FM1 and FM2. And on the other side, it just gives you a bunch of random things, like built-in pump within slim water block, blah, 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 random stuff. And there's basically two fronts because there's no dedicated back. The back is basically the side. Let's begin. Wait, wait. Boom. Eco-friendly. I like to see that. As you can see, it's not, it's this like cardboard stuff that's obviously eco friendly because you can see how rough it is. But then again, it keeps it still very nicely protected. And there it is. It just comes like that with this styrofoam. So let's throw this off to the side. And here's your manual. And then they say on the plastic like wrapping to go to the website to get like more detailed instructions, but. I think this should be good enough. Here's the 120mm fan. It says Zalman right on it. Kind of looks looks kind of cool, but 
here's one big down part about this radiator. I mean, this fan. See how it is missing the corners on half of it? It's because you can only um, basically push it, put it in push configuration. Honestly, if you go like have this giant gap right here, but that's not a good thing because then you lose a lot of static pressure along the edges. But so this is the designed for um a push configuration, and you can easily put a fan on the other side. Like what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my other Corsair AF 120 millimeter fan. Sure, it's not at all optimized for what's it called static pressure for radiators, but it wouldn't hurt to use, obviously. Okay, so here's your bag of parts. I'll get to that in a minute. And here is the radiator itself. So, it's very thick. It's very nice. See, so just put it that way. It's very nice looking, I have to admit. And then the tubing isn't too long, which is nice. Here's a 25 millimeter thick fan comparison. And let's see, do I have? Yes, here's a Samsung Gal um, Intensity 2 comparison. And then just like that, I guess, if you know how thick these phones are. So you could fit basically three of these in a single one of these. So you can, it's a relatively dense fin arrangement. You can't you can kinda see the blue tape. Don't ask me why there's blue tape. It was from previous videos. The tubing you can see it's a nice rubber. So that way it can flex really nicely in basically any direction. So you could have your pump basically on top of the radiator without having to worry. And then, there is the three pin connection for the pump. It's a three pin connector. And then let's see, how about we get this plastic off. You can see it has a pre-applied thermal paste, which makes it really easy to install. I'm not gonna take this plastic off until I'm ready to install it. And one thing that I really like about these are the um, joints, because you can see they're a little sticky. Oh, well, if you have them together, they are. But individually, they are very loose. See, so you could have it like that, or anything, however you want. They're very nice. And then, let's see, spin around like that. You can see it has a big Z. It looks kind of off, but it actually kind of looks really cool. Zalman liquid cooling si solution. And I'm guessing this whole center clear part will light up. And that is a basic overview of this. One thing that I would have liked to have seen was um, adjustable joints here because they're straight so you can't um, angle them but then again you probably don't need to angle them on a 120mm fan depending on where you put it so that off to the side let's look at this bag of mounting hardware the mounting hardware is nice it's well, I haven't looked at too closely yet but see like most of it's actually plastic but there are some me um, thin metal parts like the um, part that goes around the thing like this and then this goes on the back but there's all your mounting brackets you have several you have your AMD mounting bracket your um, Intel mounting bracket note that this doesn't work with 2011 because 2011 already has a back plate installed basically and then Here's your Intel lock, you could say, and your AMD one. You could see that the mounting holes are much different. And then this piece would go over on top of, like, this would be on top, this would be in the middle, and this would go underneath, so that way you can hold that bracket on, which makes it much easier. Here are the rods that go and hold that 
you install onto motherboard. You can see that they're they're not really rods; they're like mounting mechanisms, I guess. And then here is your various bag of screws. Okay, you better view it. Kind of. Here's more mounting mechanisms. Now, the difference between these two is that it. Don't quote me on this, but I believe only one of them is designed for um, Intel 2011, and the other is designed for the rest. And then here's a bunch of like, here's a bunch of the little caps that go on to the um, mounting mechanism, and then these screws go through a special part, and then these are sticky pads, which go on the back of the plastic. Um, mounting bracket, like, let's see, yeah, they, these would go on here and here, and then you take that and stick it to the back of your motherboard, so that way it's easier to mount. So, oops. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing overview of the Zalman uh, LQ320. Now remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more unboxings, overviews, and other computer videos, and gaming, and if you want, and basically any kind of video that you request. See ya!